Hey, what's up, everybody? This is uh, another video I'm doing. Um, I normally don't make wrestling videos that much because I'm not too... Um, I'm really not too crazy about wrestling like I was. I'm more of a WWF fan, Monday Night War fan, than a WWE fan. You know, um, I must say, I must say... Um, I just got done seeing WrestleMania, and I think it's got to be one of the worst WrestleManias they ever had. I mean, by far. I mean, I don't know how I could put this, but they, the WWE, man, it's just, it seemed like they had something good going on, you know. I don't know if it's just wrestling in general, but it seemed like, um... Seemed like the WWE had something decent going on when they had The Rock come back, but and Brock Lesnar come back. But I mean, but I just don't know what to say about the WWE these days. I mean, they got. I sat here and watched it. I, um, I, I thank God I did not order it and not a buck came out of my pocket. But um, uh. Yeah, I saw I saw WrestleMania. I thought every match, I thought every match was garbage. I usually don't watch the WWE between the Royal Rumble and the W and uh, WrestleMania. That's the only time I really watch it. Other than that, I really don't follow it. But um, yeah, I mean, like I gotta say. For the most part, um, Daniel Bryan's match versus Triple H was the only match I really liked. I thought the main event was cool, the little triple threat match. I thought that was cool. But the rest of the pay-per-view was terrible. Terrible. And, you boy, I, I know here's the number one thing everybody want to hear me talk about is The Undertaker losing to Brock Lesnar. I mean, you can't believe it. You can't believe it. I actually saw it coming. I actually saw it coming. I will tell you one thing I think is kind of weird, though, and this is a true story, rather you believe me or not. I play, I had bought the uh, WWE 14 game. I traded it in ever since. I just unlocked it, all the achievements, and traded it in. It's, it's an okay game if you want to buy it. And, um, but I played it, and like, they got the, the defeat the streak mode. I really didn't know what I was doing at first, but like when I first played it, I mean, when I first won it, I had, um, this is a true story. When I first beat The Undertaker, um, I, uh, I beat him with Brock Lesnar. So, I mean, damn, a video game comes true. But, um, yeah, I was going to say, uh, as far, um, but yeah, that came true, even though I later learned that you can't win the streak beating him with Brock Lesnar, you gotta do it with Batista, Randy Orton, or Shawn Michaels, or Kevin Nash, or, and King Kong Bundy, and the Big Show, but, um, and CM Punk, um, but yeah, um, I just found, found that kind of weird, I mean, it's a true story, but yeah, man, I mean, it's really shocking, you see The Undertaker lose to Brock Lesnar, though, I mean, Brock, he's a good wrestler, he's entertaining, but it's it's fucked up. But at the same time, it just seems kind of fucked up. I mean, Brock Lesnar, this dude has kind of turned into being a, like a really overrated wrestler with that. I mean, you beat the Undertaker, and then you go back to your first year in the WWE. You win a King of the Ring. You win a WWE title. I mean, you just get everything handed to you. I mean, damn. But I mean, hey, he's he kind of started from the bottom. I mean, he um, you know, he wrestled when he was in high. He wrestled when he was a kid, didn't he? But um, yeah. Um, it would seem kind of weird, Brock Lesnar beating the Undertaker. Like I could see Randy Orton beating the Undertaker. I could see. CM Punk beating the Undertaker, that would be kind of understandable if you see where I'm coming from. But I can't, I can't see Brock Lesnar though. But I, can, I mean, but we saw it. But 
overall, um, yeah, man, like, I watched this build up, the build up, because like I said, I only watched uh, wrestling between Raw, I mean, uh, between the Royal Rumble and WrestleMania, so the build up, like, if you actually watched, like, if you actually followed it, it seemed like, Randy Orton, he's the champion, but they made him like a, you know, a non-important character of the storyline angle. You know what I'm saying? Between Randy Orton, I mean, between uh, Daniel Bryan, the uh, Triple H, Stephanie, you know, and then uh, who else? Um, who else? This is somebody else. Uh, ba uh, Batista, they make them all important, not Randy Orton. If you ever noticed that. But, yeah, man, uh, WWE, I don't know what to say about them, but, you know, those Attitude Era days, they're over with, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's really sad. I mean, the only thing I could just do, the only thing you could do is just get on YouTube and watch old matches until the WWE flags them, but, um... Yeah, man, it's a wrap for the WWE. I mean, sh it, TNA, I thought they was going to do something a few years ago, but they suck, uh, too. I mean, hell, they lost to everybody. They about to lose Kurt Angle, <laughs> sadly. I mean, I still watch wrestling news, but I just don't watch the show. I mean, I still follow wrestling news, but I don't watch the show as much. But, yeah, other than that, the only other positive thing about uh the uh, WrestleMania, I, th I thought the Hall of Fame was cool, I I'm actually glad Scott Hall got in, he's one of my favorite wrestlers, uh, growing up, he's probably one, of the I think he's probably the best wrestler to never win the world title, in my opinion, he is, but, um, yeah, that was great, uh, I used to kind of like the Warrior when I was a kid, so I think it's good he got, he got inducted, so, uh, Yeah, but other than that, man, that's all I got to say about the pay-per-view, man. For all you people that wasted your money on that shit, I mean, hey, hope you, I'll be marks learn your lesson. Other than that, peace.